getting right into the sandstorm period. The hit the pit pirates drop their hatch as they fall down the uh, level two half. Team Phoenix looks for the cargo, but it flies too high. The pit pirates in the sandstorm period manage to grab another piece of cargo that they've now scored. Robo Dogs helping them out. Pit pirates already with another piece of cargo. They're cycling like mad. Robo Dogs with their watchful googly eyes throw in another piece of cargo. And the pit pirates do the same. They're already up to four pieces of cargo. But the Red Alliance is definitely not slacking off. We've got Team Phoenix. Looks like they're going for another piece of cargo. Waiting at the lines, the human player station. The scores are very close, neck and neck in fact. The Titanium Tigers placing the hatches that they're so good at placing. They've already got the, they've already got the whole near side of the rocket filled out with hatches and one on the other side. The Pit Pirates though have been cycling like crazy along with their Alliance members, the Robo Dogs. Just a one point margin separates these teams with 50 seconds left. Team 7675, the Spark Guardians playing defense against the Gadget Girls or trying to fend them off from their own side. We enter the end game phase and the Blue Alliance is still cycling wildly, trying to keep up with the Red Alliance. Both sides are up to almost 40 points and with 15 seconds left, these climbs and parks are gonna make a huge difference. We've got three Blue Alliance bots on the hab. Red Alliance trying to match them. We've got two for the Red Alliance, three for the Red Alliance, and the match ends. This score might be very, very close. We'll have it. And it's the Blue Alliance. They win by one point over the Red Alliance. That moves all three 